far away flag ready to come up. Watch the acceleration of Bartlett's to meet Tommaso Pantera. And it gets plenty of bike coming off the track. Bartlett grabs another gear and it is goodbye boys as the Satellite Electronics Porsche driven by Fitzgerald tries to catch sight of it as it goes over the top of Bitcher Pave and now drops down into Dunlop Loop for the first time. Fitzgerald is up into second then, but then followed by Burke. Griffin is the next one through, followed by McLeod, then uh, Gary Scott rounding off the six as they go through Dunlop and work down towards Mazda Corner. Yes, so Barton gets power to the ground pretty quickly. And it was John Burke who came out with a pretty snaky sort of a start when he grabbed second gear. He's in third. Fitzgerald second, as you mentioned. Griffin, McLeod. Bob Tindall in there behind Gary Scott as well. So KB out to try and take this lap record. Conditions much drier than they were this morning. But the interest in the genuine sports sedan and GT car ranks, I guess, must be for second, third and fourth. With Fitzgerald heading Burke and Mike Griffin. John Burke in the turbocharged Toyota Celica behind the rear engine Porsche. These two have been locked in battle throughout this series, which concludes today. Peter Fitzgerald, the leader, with a total of 21 points. John Burke sharing third place at the moment with uh, Tyndall, a total of eight points. Mark Trenner with not competing, nor is Brian Thompson. There's the rest of the field running away and Bartlett opening that gap all the time. Peter McLeod is back behind Griffin. And then Tyndall followed by um, Gary Scott of Queensland. Oh, Last time round it was a 51-4-4. This is and, good. Oh, yes, and John Burke gets through. And I see we've got a hump back down here that's spun around little uh, John Scott. Vernon. So, Peter Fitzgerald has uh, been passed here. It's dropped him back into third spot. Next one is Griffin. So John Burke moves to second, Fitzgerald to third, Griffin to fourth. I was about to say before that KB has done a 51-4-4, so he's down to within a little less than half a second of that lap record. And he's winding it up more and more all the time. But he's not getting all that far away, though, from John Burke, is he? No. Salika's a pretty nicely built little motor car. And John came out here on Wednesday. He also came down from Gosford on uh, Friday. As Glenn Seaton goes whistling off into the boondocks again for the second time in two races. He likes that part of yeah, the track. Yeah, loves it. Here's Kevin Bartlett Berg in the Pantera. Burke is close. Well, the Ryan Hilton Toyota, 2GO entry, looking very good here at the moment in second place. And can Berkey wind up the turbo and get this fascinating beast of Kevin oh. Bartlett's? I think he has. Across the top, on the inside, the new leader, Car 77, John Burke. So, is Bartlett in trouble? Fitzgerald in third, still knocking on the door. And talking of that, KB did just that in the first heat this morning because you'll notice on the left-hand door of John Burke's car, a nice old graze where KB did just that and ran the wheel down the side for a while. There's hardly anywhere on this circuit, though, for Bartlett to drive that car in a straight line. Well, he's got about 500 on brake horsepower. Every time he puts his foot on the pedal, it wants to turn round. And uh, his only real shot is going to be the... Um, Bitcher Pave Hill the next time. You've got to admire, though, what John Burke's done with this Saliga and how successfully he's campaigned this car for, well, how many seasons now? Four or five. Four or yeah, five. Please. They come through uh, Wonderlick Corner Bart and oh. Burke with a puff of smoke. The hand goes up. Goodbye to Burke. Fitzgerald now goes back into the lead. Kevin Bartlett in second. Mike Griffin is up to uh, third now, sitting in behind the Pantera as Fitzgerald takes the lead. Hard to know whether Bartlett's showboating or not. Just so having a little exploratory move there on Fitzgerald, who's got the Porsche oh. sideways. And Griffin coming right in behind Bartlett. Well, the others are all bunching up there as well. We've got a glimpse of Bob Tindall, Peter McLeod and Gary Scott in that second group of cars, so this is going to become a very good six-way battle with Fitzgerald, the leader at the moment, from Bartlett, Griffin, Tindall, Griffin comes out on the inside for a run through the right-hander onto the straight. Now, KB is certainly not uh, circulating the way that one would expect, and uh, there's no danger of a lap record being knocked over here at the moment. He's either got a, um, a problem. This be certainly busy taking the car through the corner there, moving off down towards uh, Mazda. 
Fitzgerald just there. Bartlett the second, then Mike Griffin, the Nippon 41 entry. Griffin's car, as I've mentioned a couple of times before here at Amaru, was the first ever Mazda RX-7 imported into Australia and since then has been run as a Group E car, a Group C car and now becomes a sports sedan. Here's Bartlett. Bartlett on the outside of Peter Fitzgerald. Didn't go ahead with it. Fitzgerald gets a little skatey coming out of the corner. Tyndall's moved up behind Griffin. McLeod's there and so too is Gary Scott and the Nissan Turbo. Once again, back across the line at Amaru and up the hill. This is where the Pantera should be just hauling the Porsche in. It is at this stage. That's at the wrong end of the hill, the top end. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't quite get him before he runs out of straight road. And once they get onto this long loop at the back, the Porsche comes into its element. Give him some space, though, and let him clear the road, and I think we'll find that KB can disappear. He disappeared in the first three laps. They managed to uh, pick him up. It wouldn't be the most comfortable of uh, racetracks to be sitting in amongst traffic. Mike, Park. Mike Griffin said to me before, after the first hit, all he could hear was KB somewhere around the car, but he couldn't see him out of any of the screens. <laughs> so it was just lurking, and he was uh, sort of driving with Braille. Well, he could drive past you, and you wouldn't see him. The car's that low to the That's ground. correct. In fact, KB said, uh, Mike, I can't see you in the rear vision mirror. And uh, Griffin said, well, I can't see you at the front, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> they come up Bitcher Pave Hill again, Fitzgerald. Now, KB maybe might be leaving this to the last couple of laps. And Fitzgerald will lead, but he leaves a gap there. Oh, he has and, a very big gap. And it's too twitchy, the Pantera. No, it's not. He gets the nose in front again. Takes over the lead, going down to Mazda Corner. Now, that should really get uh, Mike Griffin on the boil. Well, Peter knows that uh, the nine points for, or should I say the six points for second place in this race will uh, comfortably give him the championship, so uh, one doesn't have to be silly. But look at this battle here now between Fitzgerald and Griffin. Mike Griffin, who has been the centre of some con uh, controversy in the sports sedan ranks in the last couple of meetings, has really come good today and has got the car mobile a lot quicker than he has had in the past. Yeah, well, he's had a lot to say about the hybrid cars, uh, notably uh, Mark Trenau from that big jack that he brings down from Queensland. Well, that car's not here today. He put that away and then all of a sudden Bartlett arrived with the Pantera. Yeah, that's right. But, but uh, he's got no bitch against Fitzgerald. It's head-to-head uh, -head between uh, the two of them here. Towards Master Corner again. Griffin getting closer to Fitzgerald and now Bartlett's starting to pull away again from the Porsche. The so Bartlett's coming up behind a group of uh, slower cars. Might impede his, uh, his progress. Fitzgerald with uh, Griffin and the 41 running down towards the lake as Bartlett gives the slip to some of the slower machinery. Heading down to the right-hander. Gerald with Griffin sticking to his tail. Tindall, I think, is the next one back behind them. One lap to go. Bartlett leads Fitzgerald and Griffin, but uh, Fitzgerald KB. is going to win the series. KB is going to win the race. Given Bartlett, the Nat West Finance Pantera coming down to Mazda Corner. Just trying to steer away from uh, some of the slower cars. Stay out of harm's way. As he comes out of Honda Corner, runs down towards the Lake Corner now. The scrap's still continuing between Fitzgerald and Griffin. About 100 metres back behind him. In fact, they've gained appreciably. A small straight now that brings them up to uh, Wonderlick Corner. And here comes KB. Good to see the chequered flag for Kevin Bartlett, the NatWest Finance Pantera. He takes the sports sedan final here this afternoon from Peter Fitzgerald and Mike Griffin will finish third. Very interesting race, full of incidents and uh, full of interest from start to finish. Let's recap the placings for you. The win going to KB in the Di Tommaso second spot to Peter Fitzgerald in the Porsche and third place going to Mike Griffin in the Mazda.